pulled over on 12th and Gerard. This is a fact coming from 106 in Park in New, in, in New York. It was a uh, Sandy. My album dropped 2012, October 23rd. That was the week of the Sandy hurricane, so I could not fly out of New York. I was on probation. I had to drive back to Philadelphia to fly private. I got pulled over on 12th and, uh, 12th and Gerard. Actually, had a an uh, off-duty police officer in my car because you can't carry a firearm in New York. And since we're here, I rap, I got to break it down because, you know, rappers give it to you all types of ways. They say you should have security. You shouldn't. It's almost like a suicide mission. So I always look at it like, should I have my friend? This is, well, in an ignorant way of thinking how uh, we deliver it sometimes. Should I have my friend drive to New York to protect me with a gun when I could hire somebody for $200 to protect me all day the legit way. Which way should I do it? So I did it the legit way, rode back to Philly. I get pulled over by a police officer. He smelled weed in the car. He does not, he don't know it's a cop in his car yet. I don't smoke weed, I'm on probation. I never had a, uh, uh, a technical violation for weed the 10 years I've been on probation. I just got off probation. I tried my thing, I, I relax here and there now. Uh, but, um, uh, he pulled me out the car. More of the story, I went to jail. I lost my money. I lost my money for my plane. I'm trying to do right. I'm trying to do good. I got pulled back. And me, I would never sue the police. I lost $400,000. I lost probably 200000 for the show, probably 800000 a lawsuit, a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, I wanted my money back. He pulled me over, locked me up, let me go. I didn't get charged. I went to court. He said he seen heroin in the back of my car. These are, these are factual documents you could go pull up off the internet. He said it looked like he seen racks of heroin in my car at this time. I'm making millions of dollars. I ended up losing a lawsuit, and I got violated. I went to jail, ended up losing a bunch of money, my family, my freedom, and just from one person pulling me over. And that's, and that's just giving you the breakdown of a mind frame like, Nine times out of the ten, most of these kids don't even want to stop because they don't know your life can turn around in a matter of a pullover, you know what I'm saying? And luckily, I have resources, and I have lawyer money, and I have a back in that. I could come out of that situation, but you know, you got thousands of others that don't, and I think we, we need to address that soon.